filmmaker linked to that movie. He was questioned by authorities yesterday and then released. He will not be heading home, though. Instead, he's going into hiding. GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney is in Colorado today campaigning while his running mate spent part of this weekend campaigning right here in the Bay Area. Our Brendan McLaughlin sat down with the vice presidential candidate, Paul Ryan. Five minutes. That's how much time local reporters are being given to interview Congressman Ryan this morning. It's not an unusual restriction, but it's not enough time to ask a lot of follow-up questions. It also allows the candidate to run out the clock if they choose with a long-winded answer to one or two questions. We'll do the best we can. The interview was held in the cramped confines of the Romney campaign bus. I started by asking about Ryan's nomination speech in Tampa during the RNC, which was criticized for having several misleading or false statements. Do you worry? that your credibility with the voters as a result of that has been compromised with less than two months until the election. But not at all. Look, this is what politicians do when they don't have a good record to run on. This is partisan name-calling 101. Everything I said in my speech was absolutely accurate. But it wasn't just politicians. Two prominent fact-checking news organizations cited statements they deemed to be mostly false on the stimulus, the budget, and Medicare. Factcheck.org is wrong, is that what you're saying? Well, I just think they're missing something. Another issue dogging the campaign is Mitt Romney's refusal to release more than two years of tax returns. So I asked, how many years of tax returns were you asked to provide to the Romney campaign as part of your vetting for the vice president? Oh, it was a very extensive vetting process. I don't want to get into all the details, uh, but it was a very thorough vetting process. Ryan would not answer the question or confirm reports that Mitt Romney required him to provide 10 years of tax returns, saying Floridians care more about other issues. So we turn to Medicare, a central issue for Ryan and Florida voters. He refuted the claim that his plan replaces traditional Medicare with a voucher program to cut costs. Don't forget, Medicare will be bankrupt for you by the time you retire, by the time I retire, if we don't do anything to save it. So the status quo of Medicare means bankrupt program for the next generation. We're trying to get ahead of that problem. With just 52 days until the election, the Ryan Romney team has a lot of ground to make up. The latest polls show them trailing in the three key swing states of Virginia, Ohio, and here in Florida. From Oldsboro, I'm Brendan McLaughlin. Back to you. And the push to get voters registered this weekend continues in Hillsborough County. You can get signed up at St. Lawrence Catholic Church on North Himes Avenue starting at 7.30 this morning. Then over at Incarnation Catholic Church all day.